I'd really, really like to hire a van and go over to France and buy up loads of brocante. I'd been saying this for quite some time, years actually, when, following a walk in the Derbyshire Dales with my friend Hope, a thrilling plan emerged. Hope's new partner was selling his house in the centre of France, and why didn't I go down there to stay and take whatever of the furniture remained in order to start me off? An offer that had enormous appeal. Whilst looking into renting a van for this trip, another idea was suggested. Buy a van, it'll work out cheaper, and you can always sell it afterwards, was the counsel of Graham, my ever supportive and tolerant partner. He came with me to Buckingham Van Centre, and I peered into a few obligatorily white vehicles, some polished and clean, some straight off the building site. No, I couldn't see myself driving a three-seater, let alone a long wheelbase jobby. What about this one? My eye was directed to a diminutive, quite elegant really, LDV cub van. Her license plate reflected her name to be Mo, M-O-E. One slightly nervous test drive later, a lot more noise than a car, rather wide, rather high, she was mine. And did little Mo ever get sold off after just one trip? How could I? Mo has become my workhorse, my shelter, my mobile workshop and my pal, not to put too fine an anthropomorphic point on it. Sometimes I look at her and feel a quiet happiness that together we are creating a story, an adventure of so many possibilities and joy. What follows are my musings, my dreams, something equating to a love deep in my gut for travelling the backwaters of France, for not knowing what next delight I will uncover, for the glance of amber light through a dusty barn door, for furniture long since forgotten and left to age into oblivion at the back of a hangar, for the sons of sons of brocanteurs, with their stories, their rough corners that warm into a greeting and hospitality, for the dealing and head scratchings, for the squeezing one more piece into little Mo, and bringing it all home to be dusted of ancient cobwebs and loved back to life.